last year I did a few rarity reports over several months I stopped doing them because it turned out it was a lot of work to create these videos however I also found it regrettable not to upload these videos anymore that's why I decided to do something similar but different my plan is to create a summary after each season of what has been observed and hopefully compare it over the years I will mainly focus on but not limit myself to mega rare birds birds for which the observations have to be reviewed by our rarities committee I will also use more of my own footage to save time on requesting photos and videos from others but I will occasionally use something from someone else with proper attribution furthermore I've decided to make these videos in English as well I have divided the year as follows summer from June to August autumn from September to November winter from December to February and spring from March to May in this video I want to look back at the summer of 2023 first I looked at how many mega rare birds have been found I went through all public sources and included all accepted cases and checked if there are photos or sound recordings for the cases that have not been accepted yet which might make acceptance likely there are always birds that are eventually rejected but as long as a bird is unringed I include it in the overview for the summer of 2023 I've come to a total of 20 mega rare birds 12 in June 3 in July and 5 in August it should be noted that I think uh, this is the last year that the little craig will be assessed and if the numbers of booted eagle continue as they are they may also be removed in the future for June it concerns on the 3rd a eastern subalpine warbler found by George Stannis at outdoor on the 6th a lesser grey shrike found by Harm Nissen in the North Hollands down reservat on the 7th a booted eagle which I was talking about found by Steven Geurts at Reeswijk on the 9th a lesser spotted eagle found by Jacob Bosma at the Vochtelowe Veen and on the 10th an eastern imperial eagle was found by Remco Jausma at Scherpersil and it could uh, be picked up by some other birders who were in the neighborhood and on the 13th we had a red-tailed strike found by Lisette van der Krocht at the migration watch point Bergheide on the same day also a black-headed bunting was caught at the North Holland's Down Reservaat on the 17th at night uh, during a trip with a boat at the Weerribben a couple of birders heard a little crake calling and the name of, of the observers were Dan, Hidde, Joris, Bram and Chris on the 19th sadly a deceased Skopsaal was found and on the 20th at Schiemenekoog Koenstork found a spotted sandpiper saw the bird up close and could see all the identification features of the bird but sadly the bird was gone too quickly to get any photographs of it but it was accepted so it's part of this uh, overview then on the 25th we have a booted eagle again found by Rob Felix and Chris van Turnhout at Bergerheide and on the 27th we have a lesser scalp found by Lars Bucks at the National Park South Kernemer Land it's the first summer record of the species in the Netherlands now for July we have on the 6th a green warbler found by Thomas Luiten at Borsele on the 10th another booted eagle found by Justin Jansen at Vianen and on the 29th a white-headed duck found by Nout van der Berg at the Biesbos and for August we have on the 3rd a marble teal found by Joey Braat at the Eesemekeeg on the 5th we have the blue-cheeked bee-eater found by Benno van der Hoek at the Vochtelowe Veen on the 19th another little crake was found at the Twijzeler Meter by Liewe de Haan and on the 23rd a group of birders belonging to the NJN found the eastern or western Bornelis warbler at the Schelling and on the last day of August the 31st another little crake was found at the Eemmeer by Tony Bakker both the green warbler and the blue cheek bee eater were the highlights of this period but unfortunately like previous records of these species they were difficult to twitch 
Both birds were recorded by barely 50 people on Wahrnehmen.nl. So for many Twitchers, they are still hoping for a third chance. Furthermore, during this period, there were no surprising influxes. There were, of course, the usual observations of Pacific and American golden plovers, pectoral and white drumped sandpipers, griffin vultures, river wobblers, and greenish wobblers. Noteworthy is a discovery of a ringed European storm petrel found dead in an inland garden in Ravenswoud, and the finding of a thrush nightingale in the dunes near The Hague. Discoveries of this species in autumn are far from easy, which gives hope for a small American thrush or Siberian skulkers to be found in the autumn. If I have forgotten to mention anything or if something is incorrect, please let me know. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you in the next summary in December about the autumn of 2023.